Hey guys, Trader One here from Calpages Cardinals. Uh, today I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial on how to find your uh, default gateway and IB, IP4 address for your network. So, what you're going to want to do is you can go in here and type down CMD, or you can hold down the Windows button and press R, and it will bring you to this. And from here, you just type in CMD and press OK, and it should bring you to something like this here. Um, you're going to type in IP config. Now, here is your IPs and everything. The only ones that you want to worry about are these. So, yeah, uh, this default gateway, if you wanted to, uh, like, what is it called again? Port forward your router so other people could play on your network from their place. You want to use a default gateway and uh, put it into your browser so let me show you that right now so what you're going to want to do is open up your browser uh, you want to put, put in 192 and it's right there already so put it in and, slash, and press enter and it will bring you up to this you can log in it's usually just like something like this but uh, I'm working on Cisco I don't know if you guys have a Cisco, but it's pretty easy. And if you want to port forward with a Cisco, I can't really. I'm pretty sure you go to applications and gaming. I haven't done this in a long time. It's uh, port forwarding. Uh, yeah, right here. So what you want to do is port range forwarding. And you're going to type in your start port and your end port, which is chances are it's going to be 25565. Like your IP address, that's your IP4 address, which is right here, 192.168. 0.22 and you're going to put your start port again again your end port and then you want protocols both and then you have to enable it so that is going to allow you to let other people play on your network from their house so say if you wanted to like run a minecraft server or an armist server or something like that you could just do that and uh yeah so it's been a video from calipages cardinals trader one signing out